And you know, something that I really love about the forecast is that it's going to be fantastic weekend. I'm just so excited for oh, it. Oh, I, I saw you drawing that little sun on your paper, Dane. <laughs> She's excited. The sunshine's making a return. I know many of you have the weekend on your mind. The sunshine's making a comeback today, but it's going to be hot and humid. So if you're heading out to the Sound of Speed Air Show this weekend, stay cool. The time is 643 as the sun is beginning to rise overlooking St. Joseph this morning on our KQ2 tower camera. There is still a few low stratus clouds sticking around, but I am excited expecting the clouds to slowly move out as we go throughout the morning hours into the afternoon and it's just going to shape up to be a great Friday evening and weekend for us. But we are starting off on a human note this morning. Humidity is at exactly 100% here in St. Joseph. Winds are coming from the east southeast at 5 miles per hour. Temperatures are right now sitting at 68 degrees. Across the rest of the KQ2 viewing area, we've had a warm front that has passed us, which has allowed the southerly winds to start picking up. Already warming us up this morning to 67 in Falls City, 70 degrees already in Rockport, 69 in Mount City, 67 in Maysville, 68 right now in Cameron as you're heading out the door. Now as you're heading to drop off the kids at school and head off to work, expect temperatures to continue warming up today into the 70s, eventually into the 80s, lower 90s with lots of sunshine heading into the afternoon as you head home from work and school. And this is just the beginning of a summer heat warm up heading into the weekend as we're going to be going into the middle to lower 90s. So we're going from below average in the 70s from this work week to above average of 86 degrees heading into the weekend and into early next week. We're dealing with some cloud cover this morning on our KQ2 high resolution max radar. This is all courtesy of our storm system that is moving out of the region. It, we're picking up a little bit of some false return on the radar. So this is not signifying rain in northwest Missouri. Our our storm system is moving out. We again we have a warm front that has pushed through. A cold front is going to stay just to the north of us. So the doorway of the humidity and the sunshine and the hot conditions are returning just in time for the weekend. So let's take a closer look of what we can expect over the next 24 to 36 hours in your all important KQ2 hour by hour forecast. Again, I'm expecting the clouds to continue to decrease as we go into the lunchtime hour. It's going to be great for those outdoor plants you have. If you have to go out for lunch, heading into your Friday evening and Friday afternoon, those southerly winds are going to continue to pick up. I'm expecting the humidity to make a comeback as we go up into the lower 90s. Heading into Friday night, Friday night footballs in town, lots of events going on. It's going to be picture perfect, mostly clear skies. Heading into your Saturday morning, lots of sunshine to kick off your weekend. And of course, it's going to be great weather for the air show. But again, it's going to get hot and humid out there as temperatures are going up into the middle 90s. So again, it is still summer here in northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas. So again, if you're heading out to the air show or any outdoor plants, make sure you drink plenty of water, wear the sunscreen, dress appropriately for summer with lightweight clothing, and of course, make sure you have a good place to go with some air conditioning. We do have rain chances returning into the forecast next week, especially on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Something Michael tonight will be watching closely, so keep it tuned to KQ2. Again, the warmer temperatures are making a comeback today. 91 degrees with lots of sunshine overnight. Low sky going down to 69 degrees. Heading into your Saturday, the heat is turning up, Dane. 95 degrees, mostly sunny, hot and humid, and it's going to be like that heading into your Sunday. But the winds are going to kick up a little bit more heading into Sunday and into Monday. And then when our storm system moves through midweek next week, Dane, giving us those rain chances, which we do need, we're slowly going to cool down from above average to near average with temperatures in the middle to upper 80s. So you couldn't ask for a better forecast, Dave. Girl, I think you honestly said it best. There's a little bit of sunshine, some future rain, but it's going to be a great weekend. So thank you, Vanessa. Well, a 